Hey, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forge. When last we left off, uh, with well, last episode anyway, we got some Zeus parts, which was really cool. Then we took on a second mission. Well, the first mission was a two skull mission. We managed to pick up some Zeus parts, which was great. The second mission we took was a one skull mission. I thought that was going to end up being easy. Uh, however, for some reason, we ended up facing like uh, an assault vehicle, heavy vehicle, medium vehicle, and then two assault mechs, uh, heavy mech and a medium mech which we decided to stay away from. We killed the three vehicles, which was the main last we were there to kill. And then we just withdrew and got out of there. So we got a little bit of extra cash. Now we got 606,000. Uh, we're going to move ourselves now to another system. So let's just do that real quick. We've kind of played out this system for one and a half, uh, two skull missions. So we're going to move ourselves to, where is it here? Nope, uh, right here. Um, uh, Lucianka. <laughs> Lucian, Lu, Lucianka. So we're going to just jump over there. Um, not a lot there. I mean, it's rich research and stuff, but we're going to jump over there and see if we can pick up some some uh, one and a half, two skull missions. By your command. So once we get our first two mechs back, which is the Centurion and I believe it's the Jenner. It's the Jenner that was being repaired. Going to have a look um, because we have a couple things now. We've got an XL Gyro. And we've got a light engine that I'd like to drop in some of these mechs. Not sure which one's going to get which yet. We're really only going to get about a ton for each one. Um, so we're not going to get a lot of, like, be able to put a lot of stuff in it. But I'm really looking at that Phoenix Hawk. He's really, really running hot. And I'm, I'm not exactly sure why. I think maybe the extra two heat from the medium lasers isn't really registering properly or something. Because he's sp supposedly heat neutral. So, um... So Centurion back in three. Let's have a look now. Um, let's go to the bays. So the Phoenix Hawk is back. Jenner needs something repaired here. What did we lose here off the Jenner? I think it was a heat sink. Yeah, we lost the heat sink. So let's drop another heat sink back in. Got tons of those. So this guy's back up and running. We do have this light engine. Now I'm thinking, we put the light engine in here it's going to give us a ton and a half not bad but then we don't have space for anything right so it's not really worth putting in there right now so let's just confirm the repair here right thinking the phoenix hawk's the one that needs the most amount of work he's not really performing like i was hoping it would so let's look here let's take um the light engine and let's take the gyro as well and put them in this mech. So now we got an extra four and a half tons. So that's pretty cool. So I'm thinking maybe uh, if we go to weapons here, lasers, since that's all we can carry. Uh, what do we got here? We got a snub nose PPC, six tons, meh. We got these small lasers now too, right? That operate pretty, pretty much the same as uh, medium lasers, but they just do generate a little bit of extra heat. Uh, we could have a heavy PPC for 10 tons, which we can't really do. We got a large laser for, yeah, I don't know. Just, like, what would we do with this guy? I can't pull the small laser out, laser out of the center torso because then I won't be able to put anything back in there. So that's that's off the table. I mean, I could put in. I could just maybe you know what? Let's leave this light engine off of this guy. Let's just put the XL gyro in. And let's go to, do we have any double heat sinks? I don't think we do. No. So we're just gonna put in just another heat sink here. Just a regular one. Um, help manage the heat a little bit more. Now heat sinking is over now, but I don't know. I'm not sure why we're generating more heat on this guy. We don't have a mask or anything built in. So, um, fusion core, single heat, minus 30 heat. 10 heat sinks internal. So, I mean, that's, that's obviously not the case. I don't know what's going on here. Anyway, let's just confirm that. We'll wait for our Centurion to be back now. I'll let you know when that's done. So, three days. We've got two days to get to the planet and two days for the Centurion now. now okay, we're going to check the store out in a minute. 
Let's mechs back first. Cool. All right, so mech bay. Uh, the flea. I'm not exactly sure why. Did we lose a, something off him as well? Lost a double heatsink. Damn, really? Of course we did. And we got to put a regular one back in. Now we're over a ton. Oh, what? Right, because I need it for this. So we're going to have to pull... Yeah, that's not good. Let's go look at... Before we do this Firefly now... That, those Goss Rifles, man. They did a number on us last mission. Do we have any double heat sinks in this guy? We do not. So it looks like he is going to lose out on that on that engine. If we put the light engine in this guy, uh, we don't are out of slots. We can't put it in here. So we don't have any many hard points, right? That's the problem. So we had to like max out what we have here. So let's go back then. Let's go to the Phoenix Hawk. Do a little juggling here, I think. And let's pull out... Well, if we put in... Where is it here? Where are you, light engine? Pull this out. We can pull out one double heatsink. And then drop in... Uh, one... Two... Like three regular heat sinks, and then maybe a half a ton of armor. Can we squeeze a half a ton of armor? I think we can. Seven, back center, eight. Yeah, let's do that. So the heat efficiency should still be, well, it's a little better than it was before. Let's confirm that. So now we still have an XL gyro. So let's have a look at the flea here. Thinking maybe we should pull these uh, double heat sinks out of the arms and drop them in the torsos. So we need another double heat sink here. Let's put that in the torso. And this has got a heavy gyro. Entrench while walking. Minus 20% stability damage taken. 70 stability threshold provided by gyro. better for a heavy mech but right now I think this is what we're gonna do with this guy so let's confirm this right. I'll get, get that back up to snuff and let's have a look at the Jenner here yeah so we've already got an XL gyro so that gyro is pretty much null and void right now so that's fine let's leave it we don't need it in here do we no we've already got an XL gyro okay so let's wait the uh, four days and pick a mission. Alright, not that many days to the end of the month. Let's have a look at our contracts. And so there's a bunch here. So we'll be here for a little while. We can take these missions, I think. Hollow Vid Propaganda. Defend Base. Stubborn Surrender Battle. Cease and Desist is a Destroy Base. Mopping Up. Battle in the Polar Regions. That's only two of nine salvage, though. That's an escort mission, which usually takes a while. Clean out the marks. Battle in the Tundra. That's actually pretty good. 3 of 13 salvage. Let's take this one. And I'm going to go maximum salvage, obviously. Sam Lance, I'm going to deploy, get this done. Alright, here we go. Four on the ground. So I think before we end the episode too, I'm going to try and remember to have a look in the um, my winter coat. mercenary review area to see if we can pick up some more pilots so we can start getting them some experience. So they're up on the hill, eh? Well, let's reserve. They're not going to do anything. Yes, Commander. Alright, Pylon, let's do your job. you got max armor now, so let's get up here pretty much. See what we're up against, if we can see it. Nope, look at that evasion though, it's insane. Okay, recoil. See what your evasion looks like coming in here. 
Can I stay back just a little bit more? Ah, uh, not bad. It's like, what, five? Yeah. Yep. And Hickory, let's get you up here. Going full throttle. If these guys have reinforcements, they're coming from this side. We can't quite get in the woods, but we're going to move close. Alright, let's see what we're up against here. Uh, why do I have a nervous feeling about this? Let's reserve. Something's moving. Don't know here. Don't know what to do. Alright, let's get down in the woods, see if we can spot. No shooting. Just okay, there's three guys. Four guys. Okay. Unknown on sensors. Yeah, four unknowns, buddy. They had better not be four heavy mechs. Yeah, it's making me nervous now. Rifleman, it's gonna be four heavy mechs. At least we have somebody super evasive to be up front. Oh, you went all out this time. Dude, seriously. Gone up against a rifleman before. This guy's full armor. Except for the head. Wow, I don't know who to go for first now. Four heavy mechs. Nine point two percent. No problem. Well, it's not going to cost us any heat, so let's take a pot shot. It's already overheated. I suppose that's the myth. You would suppose correct. What's the chance from here? 22%. Do we take it or do we move in? I think we need to move in. I think we need to keep this hill. Actually, I think we need to move here and brace. I want to keep this hill between these guys and me as much as possible right now. Uh, yeah. That's just an equally bad chance to hit. 15 ammo in the light rifle. I want to maximize my use of my, uh, of these guys, so I'm not going to fire them. Okay, so if he's got full armor, it means the rest of them have full armor reserve. So they do have one medium. Hunchback. Of course. We gotta smoke this guy. Okay, we need mortars and grenade launchers on this guy till he's dead. Fifty-seven. Sorry, fifty-two point seven. Same there. Thirty-nine. Thirty. Thirty-nine. Ah. You know what? He's overheated. I'm going to take for granted that he's probably not going to fire the rifleman, and we're going to dump everything straight on this guy. Mediocre at best. I'll do what 
I can. Okay. Bit better chance to hit on this guy, firing both racks. A little bit more instability. Pylon Still next. Off. Do we need to sprint or can we just move? We can just move. Is it better to get right up on him though? Probably. Got it. Now question is, we could try for an offensive push and try and take the leg. Another rifleman, are you serious? Wow. Well, at least we got rifleman scrap. Uh, I'm gonna take the just a regular chance to hit and fire everything. At least we're in a cooler environment. Heat sinking is gonna be a little better. Recall, get your ass over here, please. And we'll fire everything on this guy. Okay, this is going to be really fun. So is he going to move back and cool off? Or he's probably just going to move in and fire ACs. Yeah, that's what I would do. Oh, and he's firing mediums as well. Okay. So we got some trees here on the left that we can get into cover from right here. I want to keep Phoenix Hawk moving really fast and I'm thinking he's going to need to get in behind these guys. So the Hunchback's got really low back armor. So we're, we're just going to have to dust these guys. Okay, so these guys are going to overheat. Riflemen are notorious for overheating. So that's an LRM-10. I'm not sure what heavy max got an LRM. I'm sure there's a ton of variants that have LRM-10s. Uh, recoil. Let's get into the trees, buddy. And we'll fire on the side of this guy. Everything. Okay, he's got Prometheus Flame on him. Hickory, I'm going to move you into here. And now we're going to do the offensive push on this guy. And we're going to go torso. If we can blow this torso off, great. If not, really we want to just push this guy back a turn. Because we want to get our other two guys on him first. Uh, going to walk it into here. And dump everything straight into the side of this guy. He's going down now. Right arm is destroyed. Don't care about the pilot wounds. I want him dead. I want his family dead. I want everything about him dead. I'm going to fire on this guy. See if we can take this torso. What's it got left? 29, hopefully. Everything on the torso. Really? Really? Seriously? You hit every other... Really? Oh my god, really. Okay, guys down to ACs and medium lasers. Once again, he's heat critical. Thank goodness for these guys overheating, man. And then being, like, not the best shots in the world either. Can't believe that guy missed the torsos. <gasps> Did he shut down? That sounded like a shutdown to me. Got to capitalize on that. That sounded like a shutdown. Find out in a second here. Ace pilot. This guy still got most of his weapons. Oh, he's gonna go for the melee attack. Interesting. Well, at least you hit, buddy. Okay. So, recoil. Yeah. Uh. That guy's gonna shoot at you if you move in here. How far can you go here? 30% chance though. Let's do this. 
I need this guy gone. So let's fire everything into this guy's side. Didn't even get the torso. Really, really... Down to two points. Of course it is, because why wouldn't it be? Uh, okay. Um... Let's not close just yet. You're still fresh. So this is the side shot. We're going to fire the MRMs. Hopefully we take that torso. We should. There it is. So that's probably most of his weapons gone. Scored a critical hit. Should have a couple medium lasers left probably. Find out here in a second. Medium and a small, it looks like. Yeah, so he's a stick. Uh, let's get cold. No. Oh, pylon has been pushed back. Shoot. So now the question is, is do I fear that guy? Let's do this. I want to see if that other guy is shut down, in fact. And he is. Okay, so... If we're going to maximize rifleman parts, we should probably go for legs. They got 600 armor, 130 in the leg. Let's try for a leg hit. Let's just do it. We do have a called shot bonus, so... Yeah. Yeah, it didn't do too bad, I guess. So, pylon... Let's see if we can finish this hunchback up. There's no point in going after those other guys right now. I don't know if we'll be able to finish them up, but we can do some damage to them. Giving them everything I've got. It's panicking now. We got our lights that go before him, so we should be able to knock him down. I think I'm going to do a cold shot and try for a headshot on him. And see if we can knock him down. Oh, he's shut down now. Heavy mech with LRM-10 that moves slow. Huh. Uh, Hickory. What do you need? need you to keep walking, please. But let's go... Let's move in a little bit. Because I want you to try and shoot this hunchback in the head. Let's go for a headshot. Ah, uh, he's only got 24 in his torso left. Well, if we get lucky and get a headshot and knock him down... Somehow I doubt it. He's panicking. Oh my god, he's got one point left. What can I do you for? What you can do is finish this guy up for me, please. On the move. Full speed. Yeah, we're like... There's almost zero heat generation on this guy. Uh... Yeah. Locking in all weapon systems. Let's make sure we hit him. He's just taking a dirt nap. Snow nap, I guess, up here. Alright, pylon. So let's get in to give these guys a target. Now this guy hasn't been shot at yet. He hasn't been shut down. So we're going to target him. Uh, and we're going to go for the leg again. Firing. Full compliment on enemy. Okay, a couple leg hits. Nice. And cold metal. Going to sprint over here. Get on his side. Gonna follow up and do the exact same thing. Fire everything on this leg. If we get lucky, we can take it. There we go. Knock down. So not only does he have limited movement, it's gonna make it easier for us to take that other leg. So we got 3 of 13 salvage. Could you imagine if we actually, like, 
get almost enough parts for a rifleman, that would be awesome. Dragon 1C. Okay, as long as you stay back there, I'm good. I think he's just slowly moving in because he's got the long range weapons to fire. If he gets close, it's going to be. He's going to melee when he gets in close. AC2, two medium lasers. He's got full armor too, so. We have to make sure we don't let him get in close. So let's get. Um, what do we got left on these guys here? 86. This guy's got... Ooh, only 11 left in the torso. So, Hickory, let's yeah. get in here. Like this. We're out of range for the mediums, but that's okay. We don't want to get too close to them, I think. If they can see us, then they're going to shoot us. So let's move over here. I'm going to fire on this guy. He hasn't moved. We might be able to take that torso, give him another wound, and if we make him unstable, we can probably get a chance to knock him down. There was two hits on the torso. Not enough. Uh, recoil. Now, you've taken a shot to the right arm here, so let's make sure our left side is pointed towards them. I think I want to be back over here though. That's still going to make the right side turn. I can't turn the left side unless I come into here. And I don't want to do that because of the dragon. So let's move in here. We're going to pot shot this guy. Maybe we get the torso, maybe we don't. Nope. Looks like a couple of legs hit leg hits though. See that here. Yeah, a couple of leg hits. That's good. So let's get cold metal in here. Gonna sprint it over. We're gonna make sure we're sprinting every turn now. Um, can't shoot him from there. I can get him from here though. Dumping everything on the rifleman. We're gonna fire. Okay, there's the right torso. Is that a knockdown? Nope. But Pylon might be able to deliver the knockdown. Uh, directly from behind. Let's try it. Location confirmed. He's got really good armor. I'm not too worried about that. Can we get the knockdown? Knock him down, please. There it is. And he goes unconscious. Full salvage. Yes. Now we just got to work on the second guy. Then there was two. This guy's still overheating. Yep. That's why I want to stay at range. Okay, is he moving in closer? Yep, yeah, we're all pulling back then. He's getting into melee range. The last thing I want is his dragon to melee. Uh, what's his back armor like though? 60, so oh, he's got geez, chunky armor. Uh... All right, let's go with Hickory first. So we got okay resolve, but I want to save it for my frontliners. I'm going to pot shot this guy. Hopefully we get some instability on him. Maybe a couple of leg hits. Looks like a couple there. A little bit of instability. So what are we looking at for legs here? A little bit more on that leg has been hit. Okay, so let's move recoil. I want to make sure we sprint. Can we get a direct sight on that side? Not a very good chance to hit though. Huh. a little better there. I think we can probably move here though. Yeah, that's probably even better. So let's do that. Don't know if we're inside the dragon's melee range. We might be. Let's fire everything on this guy. Okay, it looked like that was a leg hit. I think it penetrated the armor there. 
So now we're going to move uh, cold metal to the side. Yeah. Let's do this. So here's the thing. In order to make sure the dragon doesn't go after this guy, I want to move in and give him a good target in the open here. So we're going to do a called shot in his leg. Mostly torsos, it looked like that time. Okay, pylon. Ready for orders. Let's move here. I know we were saying we we're going to move back, but we got to make sure this guy gets better targets than, uh, than our um, firefly back there. So let's fire on this guy's leg. Copy that. One hit to the leg, okay. Right torso, pilot injury. Target's taking a critical hit. Okay, he's gonna shoot. Interesting. I would have thought with the ace pilot he probably would have moved in, but he's still playing the range game, okay. Happy with that. Oh, he hit with the large laser. Starting to take some damage now. Damage oh, damn. Well, yeah. didn't want that to happen. How much we can do about it? He killed himself. Only the rifleman kills the rifleman. Kills the rifleman. Okay, pot shotting this guy. Let's get him started. Um, yeah, you can stay away from that guy, is what you can do. Last thing we need is for him to come in and melee you. So let's get back here. I'm gonna pot shot him from a distance. So this is gonna be a battle of attrition. He doesn't have a lot of really good weapons. So I'm not worried about taking severe damage from this guy, but what I am worried about is him meleeing us. If he decides to close, we're gonna be in a little trouble here. So we're just gonna do a general softening up, I think. Try and stay in front of him, and try and offer Pylon as the target. On the move, full speed. Because he's the most evasive, obviously. All weapons are go. But if ah crap, but if he's also the closest, chances are that's the target he'll go for. But we'll see. I'm talking melee here. Yeah. Okay, where's he moving? Backing up. Oh, he didn't move very far. Yep. Okay, let's get a little closer on him. Get a better chance to hit. Just gonna walk it up. Barely can see this guy over the hill, but we're gonna fire everything on him now. Okay, one medium laser hit. Not a bad chunk of missiles. Not too bad. Receiving you. Okay, let's get you. Huh. Isn't too many places we can go here. Do it this way. Not bad evasion. I'm going to fire on this guy. Okay, still softening him up. It's taking a little longer than I thought it would, but we're getting some good hits in now. Side's starting to take some damage. So good let's move go. cold metal over. How Can we get to his side? don't know if we can or not. We can get in here, though. So let's see if we can do that do a lot of sufficient damage to this one side here. Oh yeah, we got good chances to hit. Okay, we started penetrating now. Nice. Okay, Pylon. Commander. Let's get up here. Acknowledged. Fire everything into this guy's side. Acknowledged. So Pylon's running a lot cooler now than he was before, which is excellent. There comes the melee. That's what I was afraid of. Please miss. Thank goodness. We should be able to finish him up now. 40% instability. Let's reserve. Because what we need to do... 52, huh? 94. That's better. 
right there. Let's dump everything in this guy's side. Two fusion core crits. Surprised he hasn't bailed out yet. Game over, buddy. Game over. Confirmed. Thanks for coming out. That's a kill. All right, 141,000. And I got that noise echoing in my ear. Um, didn't take any internal damage, which is good. And tons of rifleman parts. But we can't take any, unfortunately. We're going to take the fusion core. Uh, what else do we got down here? Anything that's important? Nothing, really. Wow. Uh, a bunch of large lasers. 140. 100. I think we got a couple of large lasers, I think. Got lots of everything else. Let's see how many uh, rifleman parts we get. So the dragon part, hunchback part, nice. One, two, three, four rifleman parts. AC2, medium laser, small. We made out really well on this particular mission. Excellent. Alright. 200, sorry, 26,575. 10 days for repair. Compared to what we were up against. Four heavies and a medium. We got really, really lucky on that one. Could have been a lot worse. I'm going to reorganize this a little bit. Put the Centurion first and get these guys second. So we got seven days. We'll be done before the financial report, which is awesome. And we can do one more mission. But I'm going to end the episode here because I got this noise echoing in my ear. Leftover sound from that last mission. So when we come back next time, we'll fix our mechs and jump into another mission before the end of the month. But uh, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please, please feel free to subscribe. Uh, also check out my other series going on in the channel right now. And if you liked the video, drop a like. Also, feel free to comment because I really love comments. And until next time, we'll see you all later.